Welcome to Face to Face AV here at ISE 2024 in beautiful Barcelona. I'm Gareth Hayward with the SDVOE Alliance, and today it is a pleasure to be joined by none other than Jack Liao, Senior Sales Manager at AV Link. Welcome. Thanks, Gareth, for having us here. It's a pleasure. Uh, how's the show been for you? Good. It's been actually very busy this year. Um, I was here last year, and this year I actually see um, more, um, I would say, quality visitors than uh, as opposed to last year, yeah. where we had quantity, but you know less quality. But this year is another way around. So we had a lot of people actually, they are very interested in our um, STVOE products, which I will express more about, you know, those products later on in our Great. interview. Great. That's good to know. So actually, before we dive into our uh, main subject here, perhaps you can just give us a quick introduction to AV Link and what your company does. Okay, so Avilink is a 36 year old company from Taiwan, and we are actually recognized as a leader in um, high tech electronic manufacturing um, plant from uh, Taiwan, a tiny island um, <laughs> it's sitting in the center of Asia. Um, we actually have full control of our R&D, um, our procurement of components, and also our manufacturing. So um, from zero, you know, from A to Z, we actually have um, full control. So that means we can ensure we deliver quality goods yeah. and we, we can deliver timely service to our customers. And last but not least is that um, we actually talk to our customers a lot. So we understand what customers need and we provide um, industry specific um, and also um, purpose built products for our customers. And of course, all of these are backed up by our very um, significantly invested um, um, R&D uh, center as well as our production um, uh, facilities. Yeah, there a, there's really is a big advantage to being able to control every aspect of the product development the way you do. Yeah, so the main thing we're going to talk about today, um, we, we published a case study uh, about the Cardinal Tian College of Healthcare and Management in Taipei. And uh, maybe you can give us a, an overview of that immersive educational solution that you provided to the college. Okay, so um, this college is founded in um, 1971. Um, it's actually a very famous nursing and um, medical college in Taiwan. It's actually a private um, Catholic college in Taiwan, and it's recognized as the world-class uh, leader, they call it, um, by the Ministry of Education of Taiwan. So um, when they wanted to um, upgrade their collaborative learning environment, they approached one of our system uh, integrators, um, uh, sorry, partners, and um, their, um, their needs were actually very simple. They wanted something that um, can run um, efficiently as well as... Um, fulfilling all their needs and because they are a nursing school there a lot of their teaching contents are based on focus 60 444 oh, yeah. and um okay. so when our system integrator approached them um they told told them about the features of sdboe the facilitator of this project or from the from the school they actually said you know hey you know you know what sdboe's um features actually ticked every single box that we needed. Perfect. That's good. Yeah, so perhaps maybe just drill in a little bit and point out some of the key system elements in this installation that were really taking advantage of SDVOE. Obviously, you talked about 4K resolution, but what specifically is it about that that, that is so advantageous to this, this college? Okay, so this college actually have um, two campuses in Taiwan. And they wanted to start off with a um, smart classroom in one of the campuses. And then, of course, in, uh, in the end, they want to duplicate this solution to their second campus. And um, when they were um, talking to our system integrated partner, they said, we feel like the traditional AV um, products or the traditional metric switchers extenders and splitters can no longer fulfill our requirements because we are looking for someone uh, something that is not only just reliable but it has to be able to expand you know in the future because we all know that the traditional AV products um, once the IO ports um, are uh, fully used you have to buy right. uh, new products yes yeah, so the scalability aspect exactly yeah exactly 
Yeah, so really, again, yeah, the, not just the 4K resolution, but the scalability and the flexibility of SDVoE is what made a big difference here. Yeah, and maybe you can talk about some specific AV Link products that were used within this uh, installation. You know, were there some key products that were, were used or deployed from AV Link? Okay, so the setup is um, in that smart classroom, um, there is a projector on the ceiling, uh, there is a big projection screen. And in the classroom, there are six um, TVs. Um, for, so um, in, in each class, students are being divided into six uh, smaller groups for discussion. And um, they also connect a um, live, sorry, a video, live video streaming right. um, device to our um, SDVOA compliant AV Link product. So um, when the class starts, uh, the professor would actually project their teaching material to the, um, um, the big screen on, on, yeah. on the front. And the contents are also being um, shared in the six um, screens in the um, video. And everything is being recorded. So students who cannot um, attend the lecture, they can watch online you know, at home. Um, once the teach, uh, students uh, start to discuss, they will then share their contents onto the screen in front of them, as well as um, having the um, flexibility to actually share the screens yeah. uh, across the entire classroom. Once the, before the class is finished, the teacher would then ask all the students to share their contents onto the big sc ah, uh, screen where right. you know, this SDVOE um, comes in because one of the features is that it can produce multi-views. So Perfect. now that you have like six tiny screens on the big um, projection screen to that's see all the results. Unique. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of new to me. So basically you put everybody on the SDVOE network using one of your encoders and then via a decoder, you're able to then display that in a multi-view and give that real power to the classroom. Yes. Perfect. That's awesome. So maybe um, you could give us some insights into any upcoming projects that AV Link is working okay. on. Okay. Um, sorry, Gareth. Before we jump into that, um, there is something that I missed. Um, well, no problem. Um, you know, coming back to um, the previous question, um, how our system integrator actually approach the school and you know pitch our SDVOE products to them mm. is because they say, you know, look at this. This tiny device here, okay? Can you imagine? This is actually a splitter. This is actually an extender. This is actually a metric switcher. This is actually a video controller. This is actually a multi-viewer. So all of these above are yeah. built in into this tiny device. Wow. And it's a fenderless design. So that means less maintenance and um, you know it's easier to um, maintain and yeah. it's more reliable with less uh, moving parts. Yeah, exactly. So th th that's why I said, you know, when the school um, learned about our SDVOE products, they were yeah. so excited and they said, oh, so, okay. Um, because they are also familiar with um, IT infrastructure. They say, hey, look, you know, a 48 port um, network switch is only um, occupying a one U <laughs> um, right. of the rack. Yeah, exactly. And um, exactly. because it's ASIC um, based, so as opposed to FPGA um, based products, it's uh, consuming way less power. So all these things, you know, have um, actually uh, caught their um, decision makers' um, eyes. So that's wow. how we got into this project. That's actually a perfect example of, of really taking advantage of the full power and flexibility of SDVOE in single box. Yeah, and that the form factor, as you say, being fanless, you can hang it behind a display, you can put it underneath the desk. Uh, it's very easy to, to, to hide and keep things nice and neat, right? Yeah, and the teacher yeah. said, you know what? It's much quieter in actually in um, exams, you know, where everyone is concentrating yes. on the, and then you don't hear those fans going on <laughs> no fans. in the background. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can even keep like the, the, the PCs and whatnot can be kept remote as well because you can use the SDVOE network to basically have them remote and just use a, um, a desktop, right? Because when the school, um, before the school talked to us, they, don't, they didn't just talk to us. They, talk, they, they actually surveyed in the market and they looked at a lot of AV products and they saw those um, 8x8 or 16x16 um, metric switchers. You know, they are... They're huge. Huge. Yeah, they take up a lot of real estate. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, Gareth, I'm sorry. So, let's go back to... Um, My final question. Go, go to the final <laughs> question. 
Um, this, so, let me try to recall the question. So, what are the um, projects? Any that, exciting know, upcoming projects for AB Link? There and are SDBOE? heaps, and there will be more. And I hope to see them actually being, you know, listed on the SDBOA website very soon. So, at this stage, um, I will not disclose the name of the countries. Um, there are a few projects that we are working on right now. The first one is in a Buddhist temple. Oh, so, wow. um, initially, they only wanted um, 1080p solutions. Or they, I think the second um, partner they talked to, they only can offer um, 4K30. I forgot what the detail were. But eventually we, you know, persuaded them. We say, hey, you know, be polite to your God. You know, <laughs> we have to use something that is more efficient. And um, when you are doing all this um, content sharing, make sure that all the contents are being shared, you know, with zero latency. And this is what SDVO is you know, known about. Absolutely. Perfect. Okay, so that's the first one. Um, the second one, um, we used our solution in a theme park. And that theme park was using our um, fiber optic model to stream live sports events and concerts within their huge um, theme park. Yeah, in that yeah, place. Yeah, so really taking advantage of the distance you get with the fiber connectivity. Yeah, and um, being TA compliant, our products have been uh, specced in to a U.S. camp, army camp. Oh, wow. Okay. And it's a five-story um, control and command center. And I think they are going to adopt around 300-ish units. Wow. So there's a yeah. lot of great projects coming up. There's going to be a up. huge deployment. So yeah. we're working closely with Netgear to understand how the IT, because, you know, when, IV, when AV meets IT, you know, yeah. it's also another challenge. But we right. want to ensure um, we provide, um, you know, um, very easy solution for our customers to use. And another thing which I forgot to mention, I'm sorry, we keep jumping back to the That's previous fine. question. No problem. Is that one of the reasons why Cardinal TN chose our solution is because we told them two things. And these two import, uh, important factors are what actually every business owner care about. Lower co total cost of ownership and higher return on investment. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah that's So when you point. look up the SDBOA website, you will find out why you know you can lower your total cost of ownership and you know higher uh, uh, on ROI. Absolutely, power so saving that's a key part of our things. message. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah, fantastic. Well, Jack, this has been great. Uh -huh. Thank you for wrapping up ISE with me here in face to face. Thank you, and I wish you all the best, and Thanks. look forward to seeing you again soon. Good. Thank you, Gareth. Thanks, everybody.